Deep lens model, efficient engineering. Now let's take a look at step number four, the terminal strip assembly. As you know, every time I do some schematics here, in the schematics we define not only the regular components, but we also define some terminals. Every one of these terminals has a device tag, which is a terminal strip designation, a designation for the terminal itself, and a part number. I can open a terminal strip navigator. This navigator here will show you my, my different terminals that I have, and I can reassign also some additional parts, like these clip fix parts, etc. Now, what these are, these are actually from Clip Project some parts which are automatically assigned through this process here. So when you run the um, Clip Project planning in particular, you can pick which terminal strips you want to do, and it will go through the different terminals, the di different terminal strips, and it will check them for accuracy. It will check for um, which um, ending plates you have selected if it actually is the correct one. If it's too big, it's going to change it. It's going to give you some error messages in case something works out uh, wrong for them. It can even pick some terminals based on a selection list that you have. The interesting thing, at the end of the day, you could even order these terminal strips completely assembled from Phoenix Contact. Now, in my case, I will actually make use of this um, to show you a bit more uh, how I can actually assemble them using the information that I have now in ePlan. We have, of course, the possibility inside ePlan to generate several different reports. Now, the reports I'm looking at, the reports I'm interested in, of course, we have here the clip project uh, project somewhere we can open, but that's not really not what I want to do. I want to show you uh, the different reports we have to help your electricians for this particular phase. And we call it a terminal lineup diagram. The terminal lineup diagram for each individual terminal will show you all the parts that are to be assembled together. Now, if I open actually an enclosure and I go to my enclosure, let's say number one, and I place these devices now, so you know how to do this, right? You go workspace, change the workspace, pick the uh, plate you want. Uh, here I want my mounting panel, front view. I'm going to sort this out by mounting location A1. Here are all my terminals, and I can pick, if I wanted to, a few different terminals. You can see they're all here, right? These are all my terminals. So I can basically pick them all if I wanted to and just drag and drop them. Now, of course, I want to drag and drop them and place them automatically. So I'm going to place the first set here. The second set I'm going to place here. The next set I'm going to place there. And see how quickly you can actually place your terminals? This is the interesting thing about this. And each of these terminals is, of course, referencing back to your uh, front uh, one and if you show this image plus the terminal lineup diagram for each of these terminals it's very easy for the people in the stock room to put those ones together now to fabricate the the terminals we can also print labels but we'll see that at a later point in time how to print labels because we have one way of doing it uh, where we'll do the labels not only for the terminals but also for the devices we will install. So we'll show you that in the next steps.